It's Flair. Let's talk about setting up a shoutout command for Twitch using Streamlabs chatbot that displays the game and a link to the stream of the person who was shouted out. I'll assume you're already logged into Streamlabs, toggled on Cloudbot, and have given Streamlabs mod permissions in your channel. If you haven't, check out my video linked in the description and then come back. In the left navigation, choose Cloudbot. In the horizontal navigation on the Cloudbot page, click Commands and then Custom. Click the Add Command button. It's so easy on Streamlabs with the templates they have set up. All you have to do is choose the exclamation SO item from the drop down labeled template. Streamlabs definitely has the ease of use award for setting up some of these basic commands that everybody wants anyway. You'll see that the command exclamation SO gets applied and unless you want to change it to something else, leave it as is. In the response field, you'll see that it gets set to check out target.name over at target.url. They are playing target.game. These items in the curly brackets are all variables. You want to keep the target.name, target.url, and target.game parts alone. Those are all variables within the curly brackets. But you can move them around and change any of the text itself to your liking. If you need help formatting this the way you want, let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. Leave the reply in selection to chat. Under permissions, uncheck the regulars and subscribers so only mods and the streamer can use this command. Now you can click confirm and you should be good to go. To test, let's go over to chat and type exclamation so at flarebot. I generally advise people to build commands that require a target to use the at instead of requiring people to type in the name manually. This way, once you type the at in Twitch, usually the UI will help you autocomplete the username you want to shout out, and you can make fewer mistakes. Anyway, you'll see the message from Streamlabs pop up, the name of the category they last streamed if applicable, and then a link to their chat. Nice and easy, right? Now click here to see one of my other Streamlabs tutorials.